Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my clinical biochemistry and my comparisons playlist. In previous videos, we talked about sorbitol, which can lead to cataracts in patients with diabetes. We talked about glycogen storage diseases, six of them. We discussed galactosemia and lactose intolerance. We talked about cystinosis, cystinuria, and homocystinemia. We even talked about Marfan syndrome before. We also had lectures on the islet cell tumors of the pancreas, such as insulinoma, glucagonoma, gastrinoma, somatostatinoma, and even vipoma. Today, we shall compare between Marfan syndrome and homocystinemia. They have many features in common, but there are key differences that are of extreme importance, and these differences can help you make an accurate diagnosis. Let's get started. Please watch the videos in this clinical biochemistry in order. For more comparisons, go to my comparisons playlist. Let's review Marfan syndrome. Look at these tall fingers, arachnodactyly, lens subluxation and then dislocation, aortic root dilatation, aortic regurgitation, aortic dissection, aortic aneurysm. Patients with Marfan syndrome, Marfan, have fine intellect, normal IQ. Conversely, Patients with homocystinuria usually have intellectual disability. Marfan syndrome, autosomal dominant, but homocystinuria, autosomal recessive. Marfan syndrome, Marfan is a problem in the FBN1 gene, chromosome 15, defective fibrillin 1 protein, which normally imprisons TGF beta and keeps it in check. It also protects elastin. That's normal. But in Marfan syndrome, since this protein is toast, TGF beta will run all over the place. I'll have elevated serum TGF beta and elastin will not be protected. That's why it's called a connective tissue disorder. That's why we have joint hyperlaxity. That's why we have aortic root dilatation, cystic medial necrosis, which can lead to aortic aneurysm dissection, etc. It's called Marfan syndrome. Let's, let's see how I draw this F letter. Marfan syndrome. Why? Because the lens dislocation is upwards and outwards, superiorly and temporally. Conversely, in homocystinuria, it's downward and inwards, inferiorly and nasally. Marfan syndrome has aortic root dilatation, which causes aortic insufficiency or regurgitation, the famous murmur, which is diastolic decrescendo, aortic dissection, aortic aneurysm because of cystic medial necrosis. We talked about all the symptoms of Marfan syndrome before. Please take a moment to pause and review. It was autosomal dominant, pectus carniatum, excavatum, I am tall, the span is greater than the height, and the lower part of the body is bigger than the upper part of the body. Scoliosis, lots of hernias, arachnodactyly, skin is hyperelastic, dural ectasia, which can erode the lumbosacral vertebrae, joint hyperlaxity, hypermobility or deformity, lens subluxation or dislocation, which is upwards and outwards. This can lead to visual problems, of course, and myopia and retinal detachment, more visual problems. The intellect is fine, normal IQ, but the aorta is toast. The mitral valve has prolapsed. Both of them will give me a regurgitant murmur. The murmur of aortic regurgitation is diastolic decrescendo, usually heard in the third left intercostal space. The mitral valve prolapse murmur looks and sounds exactly like a mitral regurg, which means systolic murmur. However, it usually has a click before the murmur. Marfan syndrome patients are tall and thin. This is the patient that's likely to develop spontaneous pneumothorax, which will give me hyperresence on chest percussion, but very unlikely to cause a tracheal shift to the opposite side. After reviewing Marfan syndrome quickly, let's review homocystinemia or homocystinuria. Here the IQ is low. When I have tons of homocysteine in the blood, it's called homocystinemia. Lots of homocysteine in the urine, it's called homocystinuria. Homocysteine is big time thrombogenic. It can lead to angina, myocardial infarction, strokes, deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolisms, but Chiari syndrome, mesenteric vein thrombosis, etc. Why do I have homocystinemia? Maybe because of a defect in this enzyme, methionine synthase, also known as homocysteine methyltransferase, 
or it could be a problem in the coenzymes B12 or folate, or it could be a problem in the other pathway, cystathionin synthase deficiency or vitamin B6 deficiency. Don't forget again that homocysteine is thrombogenic. It causes hypercoagulability, which is part of the Ferrocose triad, which leads to thromboses all over the body. Unlike Marfan syndrome, which was autosomal dominant, homocysteinuria is autosomal recessive. Think of an enzyme deficiency. What enzyme deficiencies are we talking about? Cystathionin beta synthase deficiency or methionin synthase deficiency or methylene THF reductase deficiency. The IQ is low. Lots of thromboses, very important. Skin hypopigmentation, aka fair complexion, and also morphanoid body habitus. Now to the comparison, Marfan versus homocysteinemia. First, what is common between the two? Both of them have chest deformities, could be pectus carniatum, bulging outwards, or pectus excavatum, evacuated, bulging inwards. Both patients are very tall. Their span is greater than the height, and their lower segments or lower part of the body is taller than the upper part of the body. Both of them can have scoliosis and spider-like fingers and toes, both of them can have hyperelasticity of the skin and hypermobility or hyperlaxity of the joints. Now to the differences between them. We're done with the commonalities. Let's talk about the differences. Marfan is autosomal dominant. Homocysteinemia, autosomal recessive. Both have lens subluxation or dislocation. In Marfan syndrome, it's upward and outward. In homocysteinemia, the dislocation is downward and inwards. Marfan has fine intellect but homocystinuria has low IQ. Marfan is not thrombogenic. Homocystinemia is thrombogenic big time. This is the one that's more likely to have angina, myocardial infarction, transient ischemic attack, ischemic strokes, deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, bud Chiari syndrome, which is thrombosis of my hepatic veins as well as mesenteric venous thrombosis. But in Marfan, no thrombosis. Another key difference, homocystinuria is likely to have megaloblastic anemia because many of these patients have the acquired form of the disease. They lack vitamin B12 or folate, megaloblastic anemia, but no megaloblastic anemia in Marfan. Moreover, some of these patients lack vitamin B6, which leads to sideroblastic anemia, which is mostly microcytic anemia, but this will not exist with Marfan syndrome. Moreover, homocystinuria has skin hypopigmentation, i.e. fair complexion, not with Marfan. Here is something that's present in Marfan but not homocystinuria, which is aortic root dilatation, aortic regurgitation with a murmur, aortic dissection, aortic aneurysm, and mitral valve prolapse with a murmur. Remember the mnemonic again, Marfan syndrome, upwards and outwards, superiorly and temporal lens dislocation. But in homocystinuria, oh, homocystine in the urine, draw a kidney with a ureter. Ureters go downwards and inwards. Oh, downward and inward lens dislocation, inferior and nasal. Homocystinuria is very thrombogenic. If you want to learn more about angina, myocardial infarction, ischemic strokes, hemorrhagic strokes, DVT and PE, many cardiac arrhythmias, then download my emergency medicine high yields course at medicosisperfectsnatus.com. Many patients with Marfan syndrome will benefit from beta blockers. You can learn more about beta blockers, the antihyperlipidemics, antiarrhythmic medications, antiangina, antihypertensives, diuretics, and even digoxin. When you download my cardiac pharmacology course at medicosisperfectsnatus.com. If you do not want to download my premium courses but would rather watch them right here on YouTube, click the join button and choose the highest tier to gain instant access to more than 300 premium videos. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, support my channel here or here, go to my website if you want me personally to tutor you, or if you want to download my courses, notes, and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.